Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to use Keep Dynamic Content and tagging with Job Form. So follow me to my dashboard right now. All right, this is the form that we have prepared, and the first thing that we're going to do is connect to Keep. So let's head on over to Settings, Integrations, Search for Keep. Go to Keep and Authenticate. Now, if you are not logged into Keep, you will have to log in and then allow it. So let's go ahead and allow. And now we have the settings for the connection that we have with Keep. Now we can tie the elements with the variables from Keep. So for example, if we needed to add a new field, in this case, for example, if we wanted to add, um, let's say first name, let's go find that. Okay, first name, and we're gonna tie it to this variable element that we have on jot form. And again, with all the other fields that we have that we might want to use. Now we have two types of tags static tags which are obviously static and we have dynamic tags for this case we're going to use dynamic tags so i can show you how that works now we can select these action actions if we'd like we're going to keep it like that for now in this case we're going to call it test jot form and the options that we have is update an existing contact or don't add a contact let's go ahead and complete this integration okay let's finish and now we're integrated with keep let's go back into the form that we've built and now we're gonna see these new tags available right here. Now by default, since they're dynamic, they are not shown in the end user form. So for example, if a public form is displayed, it's not gonna show this because it's hidden. Now we're gonna name this keep tags, okay? And we're gonna change one of these, for example, customer. And if you wanted these to not be hidden, we go into properties, advanced, and they are not, we can hide them right there. So hidden and not hit well obviously not hidden and now it's hidden now one of the first things that we can do is predefine these tags by default so for example we have the option in the advanced section select by default and we can select by default these tags if we like so when someone fills it out those are already filled predefined right there now another way that we can predefine those tags is by using pre-populated link let me show you how that works let's go into publish we're going to grab this link and we're going to start off with a new tab right here. So this is the link that we grabbed from the form. We're gonna add a question mark. And now we have to find the variable name for that element where those tags are. So let's go back into our form, builder. These are the tags, properties, advanced, field details, and here is the unique name. Let's go ahead and copy this. We can edit it, and in this case we will do it. We'll add something more simple. Now it's gonna be called tags, okay? And we're going to predefine this field right there. So let's go back here. Remember, we added the question mark. It's going to now we call it tags. And it's going to be equal to customer. So that is going to be filled with this link that we predefined right here, pre-populated. And we are going to we're going to unhide this just to show you how it actually works. So let's go into publish, open a new tab, and it's not filled. See? Customer is not filled. But what happens if we use our new link that we just created with a pre-populated tag? Now it's pre-populated there, okay? That's how you do it. Another way that we can do this is using conditional logic. Let's go back into settings, conditions, updated calculated field. And for example, if we select this, are you an existing customer? And if it's equal to yes, we're gonna do a calculated form field. And we're gonna fill out, it's gonna predefine that tag with customer. So it's gonna tag it, okay? And we're gonna put the output for keep tags. Let's save this. Let's go into publish, open a new tab. And for example, fill out our name, Jaguar. And if we hit yes, it predefines the tag right here. Now remember, we are showing, we're displaying this, but we can actually hide this so the end user doesn't see it. In this case, I'm just showing it to you because I want you to know what the differences are and how it actually changes. If I click no, it removes a tag, clicks yes, it adds it. Well, that is how you use keep tags on JobForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials. Bye-bye.